Ready? Ready? You're a movie star. Oh, she didn't let me. Oh, sorry, Moo. She ah. Uh, don't do that. Hey everyone, so today I am going to be showing you and unboxing the Jeffrey Campbell Perfect Spike Shoes. Now, just a quick warning, I have my cat running around, so hang on, you'll see her tail in a minute. There it is. Come on. Yeah, so if you do see that throughout the video, I'm sorry. Stop it! Are you serious? Now? Good, go under my bed. Um, so I'm sorry, she just really wants company, so... And I don't have the heart to say no to her. So today, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys my new pair of Jeffrey Campbell Perfect Spiked Shoes. Um, I got them last... What was it? Shoes? No. Last Monday. I got them last Monday. Um, it took them exactly nine days to arrive, and that's including weekends. So um, the delivery service was pretty good. So I got them from Soulstruck, and um, this was the first time I'd ever ordered from them. And I mean, my, ex my experience was pretty good. Um, I ordered them on a Sunday, I'm pretty sure. But even so, two hours later, they emailed me saying that they shipped them off already. So that was pretty tip-top, in my opinion. Um, I paid $119 for them. Now, for any Jeffrey Campbell shoe, that is a complete seal. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I can afford Jeffrey Campbell's. Because, you know, I'm not going to spend $300 on a pair of shoes. But $119, I can justify so that was a pretty good deal, and that's the cheapest that I have been able to find them. So if you are interested in getting them, I say Soul, uh, soul Struck is the way to go. So I remember, um, remember, remember. So I remember it was either last Monday or last Tuesday. So I'll show you the box that they come in. Oh, God. And also, they're pretty heavy. I don't know how much they weigh. Just a warning, they are heavy. So this is the box that mine come in. Um, some of them come in different boxes. I don't know why, but... It's just the way it is, so just that sad looking chicky on the front with Jeffrey Campbell and all his shoes. And then <coughs> that's the back. And then when you open it, you get the extra little studs taped to the inside of the box. So just in case any fall off, you got them to replace. So that was really nice. You get a little care card to tell you how to take care of it. And this thing, I'm not too sure. Like it's stuck on there. I don't know what it is, so... If you know what it is, let me know. And then inside are the shoes themselves. Now, I did have tissue paper over it, but I've since thrown it away. And this is what they look like when they come in. So, finally, I will show you the shoes. Here they come. So, they come in a little bag like this with a foam piece at the end to stop the spikes from stabbing through. So, I mean, the packaging is really considerate to the customer. And then here are the shoes. These are the perfect spikes. Heels. I'll just let you have a quick look at them. The strap goes up around your heel. I mean your ankle. Like that. It's going to square off the toe. So I am really, really happy with these and they feel... So I'm just on the Soulstruck website right now and I'm just going to read off all the little um, specs that they give you about the shoe. So the heel is 5 inch, um, I think that works out to be about 10 centimeters for you Aussies out there. Um, so it is um, pretty big but it also is very very chunky as you can see so it has that stability to it. And the platform is 2 inches which is about 5, no 4 centimeters, about 4 or 5 centimeters. So it is a really really sturdy shoe, it is high but it is very very sturdy. Now, for some reason on the website, it says suede upper. I don't know about you, but that's leather. You know what I mean? And I haven't worn them yet, so they don't stink. <laughs> Ew. But it smells like real, genuine leather. And it even says in little silver writing here in the sole that it is genuine leather. So you are getting quality for your money, which is good. I like to see that, you know, I'm not just throwing my money at crap that's made from, you know, fake materials. Um, the spikes themselves, they go all the way up the heel, all the way up to the ankle. And they alternate between these long-ish ones and these kind of flattened studs here. So they look like flattened ice cream cones. So, I mean, it is quite nice looking. I think it looks a lot nicer than rather than, have, rather than having all the same spikes all the way around. I got these in a size 6. 
Now, I really wish that they had a size 5. I'm a 5.5 and, and in Australia you can only ever buy a 5 or a 6. There's no really half sizes anywhere. So I'm either having crunched toes or too much space and it sucks. But um, you learn to live with it and I find my way around it. So these shoes are a 6 and they're about a half size too big for me. Which they did mention on the website but I was willing to take the risk for the deal that you get with these. So the only problem that I have is when my toes are flush up against the edge. You know, not hanging over but actually all the way to the edge. There is about a pinky gap in the heel here, not up the top, but all the way in the back here, there's about a pinky gap. And I mean, it does make my heel lift when I walk. Um, I know a way around it, all you do is put insoles in the front and the back and it will kind of stick your foot down, but I just kind of wish that I didn't have to do it. So I'll just show you another quick look of the shoe before I try them on and walk around and show you guys how they look. So. Here's another close-up view. Let me just scoot. Ew. Did you hear my knee crack? So that's the heel there with the studs. They're kind of a gunmetal grey, not a silver. So that looks a lot nicer. There's the platform. And it's got a square toe. A little strap across. And then just this strap across the foot and this little cutout here. So that's the shoe. Now I'm just going to try them on and show you how they look.